Parking checklist. Parking brake or chocks. Set. Engines. Off. Wing lights. Off. Fuel pumps. Off. Parking checklist completed. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm a Boeing 737 pilot and a member of PMDG's tech team. Did my first officer just ask me for the wing light in the shutdown checklist? The wing light? Well, in this video I'm going to tell you why that is on the new shutdown checklist of the Airbus A320. And to understand why that is the case, we need to first of all understand why Airbus redesigned that checklist. Those of you who are in flight simulation for a longer time will be familiar that the new Airbus checklist is quite a bit shorter than the old one. And the entire reason for redesigning the checklist was actually that the previous version had quite a couple of items in there that were non-safety essential. And for example, the after takeoff checklist has vanished completely. Now the new Airbus checklist concept is based on the fact that within normal operation, the Airbus is going to warn you about pretty much anything that is not covered by the checklist. For example, if you forget to retract the flaps after takeoff or if you forget to switch the packs on, the Airbus is going to give you a warning about that. So these items are no longer covered by the normal checklists. The non-normal checklists as applicable will of course still cover these items. The main idea behind the new Airbus checklist was that the checklist should be shorter and more to the point and only safety essential items should be covered on it. And now you'll say, wait a moment, why is the wing light then part of the shutdown checklist? Well, here's why. Not so long ago, an operator of an Airbus A321 that parked its aircraft on a stand with a jet bridge forgot to switch the wing light off. Now, if we have a look at our aircraft over here, the wing light is located just about in front of the um, wing. And if we now imagine an Airbus A321 that has a second door up here just in front of the wing, you can see the wing light is going to shine directly on the jetway when the jetway is connected to the two left door. And what happens then? Well, the light is quite strong if you are close to it and especially if it gets quite hot. And what happened is the wing light set the jet bridge on fire which damaged the aircraft. And since the philosophy of the new checklists was to include anything that is safety essential, the wing light was deemed safety essential as it has the potential to set off a fire on the airplane. And that is the entire reason why the wing light is now part of the normal checklists in the Airbus A320 series. Now, let me know what you think about this. Do you think it was a good idea by Airbus to do that? And do you think that anything is missing on the checklists nowadays? Thank you very much for watching. I'm looking forward to hear your comment. And finally, if you want to support the channel, you can do so using the Buy Me A Coffee link in the video description below or by becoming a channel member. Thank you very much for watching and I'm looking forward to see you all again hopefully very soon.